Sparky to come home. Yeah, and I want your mom up here on my lap instead of you, but we can't always get what we want, kid. I made a pee-pee in my pants. You and me both, kid. You and me both. A drunken Santa? Unheard of! Ho, ho. Oh. Next! I'll go next. <coughs> I'll go next. Come on up here, you little bastard. <laughs> and what would you like for Christmas, little boy? I want to give you something, Santa. Oh, well, isn't that nice? But Santa gives the gifts around here, kid. But I really, really want to give you this, Santa. All right. What have you got for me, you sweet little bearded? What the? Yes! <laughs> Christmas, Betty. Merry Christmas, Jack. I got you something. Oh, how uh, beautiful. As soon as I saw these, I thought of you. No, sir. Clippers? What? Oh, <laughs> no, those were supposed to be for someone else. What the? How did he know? I didn't get you anything. Well, that's okay. I think I know how to make it up to you. Oh. Hey! I think you better get off that thing. It'll be fine. Ooh, it's snowing. So romantic. Those are actually photocopies of Gary's ass, but yes, romantic. Absolutely. You look really cute tonight for some reason. <laughs> that sounds like the eggnog shooters talking. Eggnogs can't talk, silly. I've got mail. Forget the mail. Oh no. I need you to get down to the mall and wrap a bunch of presents for an orphanage. Wrap a bunch of presents for orphans? But it's, it's Christmas. It's for orphans, so it's voluntary. <sighs> Fine. I'm all ho ho over it. <laughs> that was pretty bad, wasn't it? Statistics show that every stupid year, 17 stupid percent of people's Christmases are ruined by having to work some stupid job for no good stupid reason. Some of these people are lucky enough to be lonely losers with nothing better to do, but for the rest of us, it just plain sucks. Stupid orphans. Hey there, Sammy. You from our jobs? That would be correct. I'm a temp, too. We're gonna have a hoot wrapping these presents. And if you're lucky, I'll play you the spoons. Say, you look kind of familiar. Do I know you? Hmm. I've seen a lot of temps in my life. Of course, most of them go and get real jobs. But not me, no, sir. I am a permanent temp. Hee-hee. <laughs> well, let's get going, Gramps. I don't want to be here long. Or at all. Apparently, we can leave once we finish these. <laughs> Damn orphans. So, as you can see, we have all sorts of models, from the lovable pickpocket... Top of the morning, Gov. ...to the sickly little charmer. <coughs> But what about Nigerians? I hear they're very hot right now. Do you have any of those? Um, no. And they're ADD-free, right? 
Uh, the brochure said ADD free. Um. All these kids are shaky. Mm, let's go over to the orphan hut. Or maybe we should just get a fish. Does this mean there won't be any Christmas this year? No, of course not, little Phil. In fact, we're going to the mall and you're all getting Christmas presents. Wrapped presents, ma'am? Oh, yes, little Phil. Gloriously wrapped presents. <laughs> Children, to the mall! <laughs> Having some trouble there, fella? No. You need to take more pride in your work. Careful and kind. That's the way to wrap a gift. Look at these old fingers. Each of these paper cuts is a badge of honor. Oh, goody! Because I know it came from hard work. <laughs> Get your gross hands away from me, you old codger. Well, see you at break time. Behind those doors, my little sprites, are your presents being wrapped with care as we speak. Is there a <coughs> dolly for me, Miss Droob? Yes, my poppet, a splendid dolly. And a, a, a puzzle for me? Hmm? The most wondrous puzzle, little Phil. And nice there be a stick to get these rats off of me. Arnold, the rats only bother you because you let them. Now let us wait, tender ones. Wait for our presents. They don't bite, they tickle. They don't bite, they tickle. I wonder what Betty's doing right now. So I thought, well, if it can photocopy documents, why can't it photocopy, oh, say, my bum? Where are you? No! Stupid orphans on stupid Christmas Eve! Oh. 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 What happened? You knocked yourself out cold! What happened to you? Oh, I died ten minutes ago. Oh, that sucks. Sorry. Oh, it's not so bad. I died doing what I love. Timping. Jack Ryder, you must take pride in your work, or things will be very bad for you. Where do you get that voice? That's my ghost voice, son. Pretty swell, huh? You will be visited by three ghosts. Learn from them, Jack. Or as I stated earlier, things will be very bad for you. So, three ghosts, do you count as one? No, I do not count as one. Three in addition to me. So, four ghosts. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh-oh, I think he's serious. Well, it's been two and a half minutes. If I don't see a ghost soon, I'm going... Holy crap! Bobby, what are you doing here? I am not Bobby. I am the ghost of Jobs past. A physical manifestation of a metaphysical concept in a form you can understand. Okay, I'm Bobby. Sweet. Let us journey back to a job you had at age 14. When I worked for that dealer, okay, he told me I was delivering sea salt. Not that job, this one. Oh, that job. Let's get these trees a nice home. I think the trees would prefer to stay where they are. Maybe if I play Silent Night on the spoons, that'll drum up some business. I'll go and get them. No more spoons. Okay, son, pick any one you want. Oh, that one, that one. Perfect. Um, we'll take this one, please. One dead tree coming up. It's the bestest tree in the whole world. 100 bucks for that tree. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, it's not for, uh, salt. We want it. Just stand it between the hot tub and the sushi bar. Uh, it doesn't quite fit. We'll cut out the top. <gasps> Good idea. <laughs> Look, we made... Fifty dollars! Fifty dollars? Well, I put the other fifty to good use. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. There was a sale? Now witness the consequences of your actions. 
it. What kind of a role model am I for little Phil here? Oh, we don't even need a tree. <laughs> it's Christmas and my family needs a tree. <laughs> Gotta get a tree. Gotta get a tree. What the? Sorry, Stan. Step off, okay? Uh, come inside, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? Daddy? Are you okay? Don't make me use the net. Help! It was the tree guy's fault. My time is up, Jack! See you, Bobby. Oh, look, visitors. I'm afraid Jack suffered a serious head injury. Another head injury? Oh, Jack. Another head injury? Nah, yeah, give him a couple hours, he'll be good as new. Serious head injuries are his specialty. Remember that BB gun fiasco? Ah, 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 give me that, you little prat! Whew, that was close. You almost shot your eye out. Ah. Or that ridiculous court case. <laughs> He's Santa Claus! What an idiot! Order in the court! Order in the court! <laughs> I should really screw that on tighter! <laughs> Be that as it may, and perhaps because of it, he now has limited brain activity. <laughs> so what else is new? Uh, well, if you're worried about the quality of care here, I can assure you that, uh, um, we try to keep the patient stimulated. Uh, right now, we're having a little Christmas party. Well, I'll, I'll just write something up for him and be on my way. There we go. And let's get a Santa hat on him, stat. <gasps> Holy Christ! What is it, nurse? It's Holy Christ! Our Savior shines forth from his scalp like a beacon of salvation. Looks like a nasty bruise to me. You know what it looks like to me? A cash cow. Where is that second ghost? Oh, man. Betty. I am not Betty. I am the ghost of Jobs present. Behold! Observe your shoddy workmanship and your uh, deficient personal hygiene. At least you didn't see what I did in the Easy Bake Oven. Now observe the results of your thoughtlessness and inaction. Oh boy, here comes our presents! Sweet Jesus! Does this mean we're not getting our presents? Miss Troop? I'm afraid not. You see, they were rather poorly wrapped. We don't know whose is whose. It's the most terrible disaster. Hey, I know that guy. One dead tree coming up. It's the tree guy. Now, Philip. Save it, Troop. For what I am about to do, I blame society and the system and the media and the multinationals, but especially that tree guy. Come, my fellow orphans. It's payback. My time is up. You have one more ghost, and he shall not be as pleasant on the eyes. That was one hot ghost. Hi, I'm at St. Nicholas Hospital, where the faithful are flocking to see what some are calling the greatest miracle since the Blessed Virgin Twinkie of 97. And a small devoted band of followers believe he's the greatest thing since the first coming. We await your word. Could you at least move a, a little finger or something? 
The messenger will speak when he is ready. In the meantime, let's buy a t-shirt. Or one of those holy thongs. Come see, his mark is glowing red. Look, that's just the swelling of the subdermal hematoma. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. A miracle. It's a bruise. Now, could everyone please settle down? Poor Sal hasn't had this many visitors in, in, in the 33 years he's been here. 33 years? Oh, my poor baby. 50 bucks for a lock of his hair. Sold! What am I doing? This is wrong! I should be charging tax. Oh my god. Jack! 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 Oops, that's me. Just trying to find a plug for the cash register. Sorry. Get serious, Spoons. Maybe we should pray. Oh, <gasps> uh, where the hell is that third ghost? Wow. Wow. Hey, Leo! I'm not Leo, you dumbass. I am the ghost of Jobs' future. But no more talking. Only ominous finger pointing. What is this place? Where am I? I can't see past the fat drunk Santa. What? That's me. But what happened to me? You let yourself go, damn it. Ho, ho. Ho. Next! I'll go next. <coughs> I'll go next. Come on up here, you little bastard. I want to give you something, Santa. This! <laughs> I did it. I've avenged my parents' deaths and the fact that I didn't get any presents that year. Ah! Please don't let me die like that. I'll mend my ways. I'll be an enthusiastic temporary employee. I'll be kind and careful, and I'll finish wrapping those damn presents. Please, Lord, make Jack wake up. I know we made a buck or two off his Christian contusion, but I promise that if he wakes up, I'll give my share to charity. Yeah, she'll give her share to charity. Uh, all right, mine too, Lord. Me too. I knew he was gonna wake up. Uh, who are all these people? These are your followers, dear. <gasps> That's nice. Oh, I gotta go. I have work to do. Let us follow, fellow followers! Oh, crap. Let us help you, Messiah. I can do it myself, and I'm not a Messiah. <laughs> little help here, please. Whatever you require, Messiah. I'm not a... Oh, just wrap the presents. Done. Great. That wasn't too hard. Now bring forth some wretched orphans. Where's the tree guy? Oh, I'm afraid we can't disclose that, young orphan. You better! Or these hurt people here are gonna be in a world of hurt. <laughs> He's at the mall. It's a miracle! Kick his ass for me, will you? Disruptive bastard. No problem, bro. Let's go! Now it's time to give the tree guy a Christmas he'll never forget! Here you go, blessed urchins. There's no more need for strife. <laughs> So much better receiving presents <coughs> than having to kill for them. <coughs> this is the best red water a boy could ever dream of. Now let's all go back to my place for Christmas dinner. Uh, little Phil. Yeah? I just want to say I'm sorry for any part I played in your miserable life. What do you say, Phil? Forgive and forget. What the hell? It's Christmas! What? 
I have to crack it myself? Oh, sorry. It's so good to have you back, honey. Hey, Jack, help me with my Christmas cracker. Sure. <laughs> ah! I thought you were dead. I am. And you haven't learned anything. I'm tempted to send more ghosts, by golly. But how are you talking to me? I'm not unconscious. Jesus, Murphy, what happened? Hey, Jack, help me with my Christmas cracker. Sure. <laughs> Here we go again. Hey, is it just me, or is the blessed brew starting to look less like Jesus and more like SpongeBob? I hear Mary has appeared in a vat of bacon grease down at the diner. Let's roll, bitches. Ah, they were cramping my style anyway. Well, I better be getting back to my new job. Got another five visitations before lunch. Hee-hee! <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you, Jack. Remember me! I will remember you, whatever your name was. Well, I'm starving. Let's eat. Anyway, when I found out how much money my family had made off my bruise, I tried to replicate the effect. Huh? It looks a bit like Tupac. Ah. Ooh, sea biscuit. Oh. But it was to no avail. So I guess the moral of the story is always be good to orphans, because you never know when they may come back to kill you. <laughs> he was a good worker. Yeah, he was. He didn't need the money either. He was really rich. Yeah, he was? <clears throat> uh, maybe I should stick around for the will reading. They already had it. He gave everything to that kid over there. Hey! Lucky parentless bastard. Look on the bright side. You're in my good books working Christmas Eve. And if memory serves correctly, I believe I owe you something. Oh, right. Merry Christmas, everyone! Hee-hee! <laughs> Rigor mortis, Betty. Don't worry, rigor mortis. Uh, yeah, so, uh, like the crazy old dead temp said, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.